the protesters carrying placards with various inscriptions marched through designated roads, including Nepa shop right roundabout, to governor's office where they registered their grievances. NSC has taken over this because it affected everybody. We all have children in these places. These federal government people, these ministers, they don't have children here. They have their children in abroad and in private school. So that's why we are taking it upon ourselves. We are going to shut down the system until they listen to us. This is just the beginning. All other unions, call it petroleum, electricity, we are shutting down the system until they listen to us. What we want from the federal government is to come back to the negotiation table and sign the agreement that they have. If they have a problem with the agreement, they should return it and let us renegotiate it. This is what we have been doing. And this agreement has been with the federal government since the 16th of June. They did not say yes, no. So what we are saying is that they should come and let us know what do they have problems with in the agreement. On those state head of service, John Adeyemo, who received the protesters, promised to deliver their message to the governor of Ondo State. Your letter will be delivered appropriately. But even beyond that, uh, we are together in this struggle. The solidarity protest is aimed at compelling the federal government to consider the request of ASU. From Akure, the Ondo State capital, Jonah Omowa reporting.